Ever wondered how to live a long and happy life? Forget about grueling workouts and strict diets. It's not all about good genes either. According to psychologist Susan Pinker, the real secret lies in your social circle. In her book, The Village Effect, Pinker reveals that folks who keep close friendships live about 15 years longer than those who go it alone. And guess what? They're also less likely to get dementia. So, what's the magic formula? It's not about where you live, but who you live with. Pinker highlights the social bonds and customs, which she dubs the village effect. Think of it as having that cozy, intimate countryside vibe right in your urban neighborhood. Take the folks in Sardinia, Italy, for example. They've got impressive life expectancies, but it's not because of their wine or tomatoes. It's their constant social interactions that keep them ticking. But what about singles? Does being alone mean a shorter life? Pinker argues that your social capital, your connections with friends, neighbors, and colleagues, is a better predictor of longevity than your wealth. Harvard epidemiologists found that neighborhoods with higher social capital had lower mortality rates from both violent crimes and heart disease. So, it seems like where you live can indeed affect how you live. And here's the kicker. Those close bonds have physiological benefits too. Oxytocin and vasopressin, two neuropeptides released when we bond with others, lower stress levels, and speed up wound healing. Animal studies show that oxytocin boosts immunity and recovery, and there's growing evidence it does the same for humans. Pinker cites studies showing that social ties protect life expectancy. Interestingly, one strong bond can be replaced by another. So, if you're not happily married but have a bunch of good friends, you're still in the clear. But if you're lonely across the board, well, that's a different story. In 2010, Julianne Holt Lundstad's research highlighted the importance of social bonds. She and her colleagues analyzed studies of 309,000 people over 7.5 years. The results? Folks with diverse relationships had a better shot at a long life than those who lost weight, got flu shots, quit smoking, or breathed clean air. So, next time you're thinking about hitting the gym or counting calories, maybe consider investing in some quality time with your pals instead. After all, who knew that hanging out could be the ultimate health hack?